if you can use a treadmill. They found in the literature that it's not that the treadmill is this magical be all end all, we have to have a treadmill. It's that utilizing a treadmill forces someone to have more repetitions with their stepping. So when they looked at patients during regular PT, they found they did 800 steps in a session. But when they're actually on the treadmill and doing more locomotor training, it upped it to about 4,000 steps. And that's getting closer to the amount of repetitions that we're looking for. If they're doing really well on the treadmill, even if you harness them just to support them a little bit, then you can add head turns. You can have them reading. You know, you can do lots of different challenging things on the treadmill once they get to that higher level. And this is what I'm looking at is higher intensity, higher level. Um, we've even had a patient who I would have never thought could do this, but we decided to walk him backwards and then give the cue of the ball to where he was bending his knee and kicking it. So I'm going to show a video of that. Um, we weighted down one leg versus the other. We were kind of looking at some different things, and I wouldn't have thought he could do it, to be honest, given his walking forward, but it was a nice way to challenge, get more knee flexion, and really kind of throw him off to where walking forward really did not seem like that big of a deal because we took him up in the amount of tensity in his other activity.